Hello everybody, today we are out at the Black Point Wildlife Refuge Center over here in Merritt Island. It is absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see him over there in the background, but uh, it's a uh, white egret. He's uh, doing some hunting, but uh, we're gonna go have a fun-filled adventure today and go photograph some birds. Let's do this. As you go to enter into Black Point uh, Wildlife Drive, off to the left, you will see an area where they have a pay station. Make sure that you guys go ahead and bring some cash because you're gonna stuff that in the envelope. Um, when I went the other day, it was like $10, but maybe check before you go just in case the prices do change. And if you want an annual pass, I would suggest going to the visitor center first because you need to purchase the annual pass first before you go into the wildlife drive because you can't like go through the drive and then go back and go hey I already paid some of the money and I want an annual pass it doesn't work that way so make sure that you guys bring cash because they work with cash um, the bookstore or like the little gift shop they do have um, options for uh, credit cards and whatnot um, but the refuge itself was kind of like all uh, cash based there The best time to head over to the wildlife drive would be between October and May. That's because all the animals are kind of in their peak season and that's when you're going to see the most wildlife while you guys are out there. I would also suggest going earlier on in the day because that, you know, think about it. The animals have been sleeping, they get up, they get hungry. What are they going to do? They're going to go ahead and go eat. Also, that's also when uh, low tide is and that makes it easier for the wading birds to go ahead and get in there and get their breakfast. While you are out there, you will see a variety of birds. You're gonna see possibly bobcat, you're gonna see alligators so tons of different wildlife is out there for you guys to view now if you don't want to drive the drive you can also hike it as well as ride your bicycle there just be aware that there are alligators around and animals are walking about so just make sure that you are aware of your surroundings now there are areas for you guys to pull off if you stop and you see something it's just courteous uh, it's just not curious it's courtesy to just pull a little bit over to the right so that that way people can still keep on going past you in case you have people coming up behind you now if you guys stay in your car then you can use your car as a blind and so basically the animals don't see you and it's kind of cool because then they'll you know still move about and stuff like that and they aren't you know sidetracked by the different movement of you walking around Another thing is the slower you go, the more you will definitely see. They do have a couple of observation decks and some trails that you guys can go on. Um, the first trail is Wild Birds Unlimited, which is actually like a half a mile trail that has two blinds out for you to go ahead and see that marshland area. Now, if you guys have been having fun, make sure you hit that like button for me. Now, if you're feeling super, super adventurous, you guys can go on a 4.8 mile trail 
called the Crewshank. It's called the Alan Crewshank Trail. And this is in honor of Alan Crewshank, who was a local ornithologist in the area. And basically when the Kennedy Space Center was coming about and being developed by NASA, he advocated for these wetlands to be protected in 1962. Please make sure that you go ahead and leave early in the morning because there's no coverage whatsoever and the Florida sun can get super hot and you don't want to get burnt. So I would suggest making sure you wear a hat, make sure you're in long sleeves, and then also make sure that you go ahead and bring plenty of water. Make sure you guys have your sunscreen and also your bug spray. They also have three observation decks and all of those are within a quarter mile of the trailhead. Now, I didn't go out there and see them, but you know, if you get higher up, you'll be able to see a lot more of the area. Now, this is the only place that they have a bathroom in the drive, so keep that in mind. So you might wanna go beforehand, and then uh, <laughs> once you're in the drive, it's, it's almost to the back of the drive before you actually get to that bathroom. Now, on the day that I went, it was very overcast. Now, I, I do, but I don't like overcast days. Um, they're great in the fact that it acts like a huge softbox, but then I always kind of find that my photographs kind of get like kind of grayish. So, and, and then I feel like I have to cheat in the, you know, post-production <laughs> to warm them up because I love warm photographs. Um, but that's just kind of my take on, you know, when you're photographing, when, you know, there's like severe, <laughs> I want to say like severe amount of, of cloud coverage. What's your take on it? Drop something in the chat pod. Let me know how you guys feel about shooting on an extreme um, overcast day. I don't mind it if it's just a little overcast, but when it's extreme, like it kind of was the day that I was out there, I, I find it, you know, a little bit annoying um, when I'm trying to take images and stuff like that. So I'd like to get you guys' input. So let me know what you guys think. Now, when you guys get towards the end, you're going to notice that now you're going through the flatwood pines and when the road dead ends, I was kind of confused on which way to go when I got there. So if you go right, that will take you back towards the entrance of the park. If you go left, you're going to go further into the Merritt Wildlife Refuge. I want to say thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me today. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. And you know what? I invite you guys to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button so that that way you don't miss any episode. And if you think there was somebody else out there who would like this content, please go ahead and feel free to share it with them. And until next time, I will see you later, alligator. Start that over again. Magical Disney ride. Okay. <laughs> to go left and then, it, no, you go left, right, no, I'm like confused. Drop them in the chat pod for me. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. A chat pod is something that I work, I use at work. Um, so put, put your, um,